Samsung announced the Galaxy Y in late 2011. The phone was the best Android phone at that time. It's been 5 years and we see so many phones are launching. So in this video, we will be looking at the Samsung Galaxy Y and we'll see how it's performing after 5 years. Starting with the design and the durability, the phone is completely made up of plastic. The back is glossy plastic and a scratch magnet. The display is a 3 inch 240 x 360 display. The back of the phone is removable and it has a dedicated micro SD slot and it also can accessible to the battery. The camera is a 2 megapixel camera and there is no front facing camera in the device. The phone is having all the basic sensors like proximity sensor, gyroscope scan sensor and your compass sensor and the phone is now running on Android 2.3. Coming to the specs, the device is having a 830MHz processor with 290MB of RAM. Let's come to the day-to-day -day performance of the device. I have used this phone as my primary phone for last 2 years and the phone never dissatisfied me. Though the device is very small in size, but it can handle day-to-day -day tasks easily like sending mails, playing music and some small uses of camera in my regular uses the battery life was awesome though the camera is the weakest part as it has just a 2 megapixel camera but at that point of time and seeing the price it was more than enough for that price range in that time what this phone was offering no one could offer that Now I was using this phone as my secondary phone for the last two weeks just to see its performance how it was performing in 2016. But the phone is still performing good. As my secondary device its battery can last for a whole working day. And the biggest issue I am facing with the phone is now it's constantly showing low internal memory. Whenever I am installing any apps, it's constantly showing low memory. Yes, you can install some small apps, but like Facebook, your Twitter, these apps are very very large in size now. And you will get a constant notification that low internal memory. Except that the phone is working perfectly. After using phones of 5 to 6 inches of display, now I am facing problem while typing on the small screen, but it can manage. Overall, the performance was fine and I am very very happy with the phone. 